would you think, hypothetically, if a crime was committed and that exact same crime was described in a book or, let's say, a video game hmm? that was completed a year before? Um, hypothetically, I'd, uh, I'd say that the author's got to be pretty stupid if he commits a crime the exact same way they described in the book because uh, then he'd be the primary suspect. But maybe he's counting on that to get him off the hook. I saw a basic answer. <clears throat> I'll just let the machine get that. Peter, do you know what the penalty is for aiding and abetting? No. Well, neither do I. But I'm sure it's bad. I mean, if it weren't, it wouldn't be a penalty. Wait for the beep, then do what you do. Dr. Lloyd, this is RJ Rentelkar in National Airport, D.C. We weren't able to get you a subcompact, but we will upgrade you from the intermediate at no additional cost. Hey, good news. Well, that's okay. We'll also have the map to request it with respect to Camp David. Okay, Peter. Game playing's over. There is a camp level in Gus's game. I saw it in his notes. Is that Camp David? Is that the plan? Yes, I'd like the number, please, for the Washington, D.C. Police Department. Yeah, and also a, a fax number, if you've got it. Then you go up to him, pretend he's Oliver North, and ask him for his autograph. Are you sure it's in a pack? Oh, no, I'm not sure. It's not a science, but it's not in his shoes. Mm-hmm. It's them, all right. Back off, Chuck. Or you'll be sizzling like bacon. Ah! Come on! This is a surprise food infection. We're from the FAA. Take the damn please. My name is Dr. Gus Lloyd. I was in the audience at Eric's when that psycho took your homing device. Yeah, I, I know you could have taken him. Anyway, the reason I'm calling is I was wondering if you could tell me what frequency that device was set on. Uh-huh. Three, right. Listen, if I wanted to, would there be a way of jamming the signal? Uh-huh. Right. And I could just buy one of those at, like, a radio hut, right? Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Finally, good news. Gus, I can't remember who the president is. So your birthday, Peter and the president. Not a big deal. I finally have a plan, okay? summer camp makes my stomach turn. These children should be doing something useful, like working long hours in a sweatshop, producing jackal memorabilia. Can you dial Peter for me, please? Who? Uh, uh, the lab. Here. Hey, Peter, it's Gus. Hey, man, where have you been? Dorn was just here asking all kinds of questions. Well, how are your answers? Well, on a scale from one to ten, ten being good and one being mine. Oh, I guess that would account for the cops at the airport. Yeah, I would have called you, but uh, you know, the plane's number was unlisted. Where are you now? Camp David. How's it coming with the triangulation? Oh, it's a done deal. 
Uh, two sides of Camp David are completely unreachable and uh, controlled by park services, which made it a little easier. I basically narrowed it down to an area of about one square mile. Perfect. Give me some coordinates. Listen, Gus, man, uh, this Doran guy may come off as a lunatic, but I think that's part of his act. He knows the game's real, man. Well, I mean, all we have to do is walk in there with Lauren alive, and he'll chalk it up to an overactive imagination. Yeah, well, just hurry back home with Lauren, all right? Well, if all goes well, I'll be there tonight. If not, get used to President Al Gore. I'll talk to you later. Stopping the rocket should have the same effect as stopping Chuck. That's the shortcut on this level. So why are we looking for Chuck if we can jam the frequency? Because that's theoretical. And I don't have 100% faith in a 50-year-old bald man who calls himself the spy guy. So we stick with the conventional method. Right. An arrow through the bullseye. I can do it. President, I wanted to tell you how much I appreciate being invited to Camp David on our nation's birthday. Chuck! Have you no patriotism? It's America's birthday! We're providing the rockets, red glare, the bomb bursting in air, and you're spoiling the party! Get off! You're not leaving, are you? You'll miss the big fireworks display. You ever see the president blow up? I guarantee there'll be a lot of oohs and ahs. I'll be honest with you, kid, I'm glad you beat Chuck. All this fresh air's making me dizzy. Why don't you just videotape your concession speech? That way we wouldn't have to see your face every time we beat you. But my dear, then we wouldn't have any quality time. We're through the easy levels, kid. Now the fun really starts. Champagne's on me.
Detective Dorn, meet the elusive Lauren Ashburn. How do you do? Nice to meet you. See, I told you there was a good explanation. She was out of town working. On assignment. I'm a journalist. You were in uh, Washington. That's right. So obviously, she's not dead. No. <laughs> what was your assignment? How Washington, D.C. celebrates July 4th. Can we go? Or do you want to ask her her mother's maiden name or something to see if it's really her? What is your mother's maiden name? So, your birthday, the president, Peter, your mother's maiden name, um, the speed limit in a residential area, and that's all. That's it. And it's not that much, and I'm sure it'll come back in time. It's okay, son. It's okay. Tonight, I'm in a celebratory mood. Tomorrow is a different story, but tonight... Yes, let's talk about tonight. You know, there are not many people who would do what you did for me. Well, who am I kidding? You're the only one who would do that for me. <laughs> uh, it means a lot. And uh, if I ever forget that in all this craziness... I'd be more than happy to remind you. bunch of video game villains that ever walked off the screen. They're led by one sharp-dressed psycho called the Jackal, and every week they just keep coming. Unless the guy who invented them can stop them. So who's next? Input data. You mean there's a bad guy you don't know about? It's the practical Joker. Star Trek's Brett Spiner guest stars as a cyber pest with a deadly sense of humor. Hold on to your whoopee cushions for the next Deadly Games. Next Tuesday on UPN. Rock and roll, heavy metal, rhythm and moves. The world's greatest skaters, the world's hottest music. And jumps so dangerous they've been banned by the Olympics. MTV's Bill Bellamy hosts the greatest hits on ice. Next, Live Shot will be back at its regular time in two weeks.